Okay, so in this video, we'll be discussing about voltage division showing for capacitors connected in series. So let's assume we have two capacitors connected in series. We will write a sketch of the capacitors connected in series. will be C1 this will be C2 this will be our E and we'll put here the voltage in the capacitor so let's have that one with another column so blue so this will be E1 then this will be on the second capacitor C2 this will be our E2 so we have still the charge flowing in the circuit this will be our Q so for example if we are going to get the value of E1 so we could use the formula of voltage division theorem so we could have that formula as E1 is equal to the voltage source E times the, the capacitor opposite to C1 which is C2 over C1 plus C2. Then if we are going to get the voltage E2, so E2 is equal to E times the capacitor opposite to C2 which is C1 over C1 plus C2. And this two now is our formula for the voltage division theorem. So if we are going to use this one in answering problems, so we will have this problem. Three capac capacitors of 20, 10, and 15 microfarad are connected in series across a 100 volt source. What is the voltage across the 10 microfarad capacitor? So, to answer this problem, first we will write our diagram. Okay, so we have three capacitors connected in series. problem this will be 20 microfarad and we have C2 which is equal to 10 microfarad and C3 which is equal to 15 microfarad then our voltage source E is equal to 100 volts still we have our Q here which is the charge so we are going to get the voltage in here so let's 
this another color color this will be our E2 so plus minus then we are going to solve for this one so the voltage division theorem for series capacitor is only applicable for two capacitors connected in series but in our problem we have three capacitors connected in series so we need to simplify this one so we could um, sim simplify the circuit by getting the equivalent uh, cap capacitance of C1 and C3 so in order to get that one so for example this one this one so let's have this one as um, CS or capacitors in series so CS is equal to the the reciprocal of the elastance so we have that one as SS so our SS is equal to the sum of the uh, reciprocal of our capacitance we have 1 over 20 microfarad plus 1 over 15 microfarad so we could solve that one so 1 over 20 microfarad it is 20 times 10 to the power of negative 6 plus 1 over 15 times 10 to the power of negative 6 so that is equal to um, our equivalent elastance is equal to 116,666.67 so 116,666.67 so this is in data so if we are going to get the reciprocal of this value so we'll have now our equivalent capacitance so our CS is the reciprocal of our equivalent elastance so we have 1 over 116,666.67 so our series is equivalent to 1 over 116,666.67 square to 8.57 microfarad so 8.57 microfarad so our equivalent circuit now will be this one Capacitor, this will be our CS. This will be our C2. This is equivalent to 10 microfarad. This will be equivalent to our CS is equivalent to. 8.57 microfarad so 8.57 microfarad 
find out. So still you have our in here which is equivalent to 100 volts. So we are going to solve now for E2, this one. Okay. So E2 is equivalent to E times the capacitance or the capacitor opposite to C2 which is Cs over Cs plus C2. So we have 100 volts. times 8.57 microfarad over CS is 8.7 microfarad plus 10 microfarad across the 10 microfarad capacitor this is our answer